What's up everybody, it's Azel2012, back with you again. I got a gameplay today on Standoff using the AN94. Got it all blinged out with the diamond. The sheezy. And I end up going, I think, 48-3 and three in this game. And uh, I die, like, I think two kills off of a nuclear. And I was fucking pissed when that happened, of course. But I think I call in... I think two, two, three warthogs. It's it's a pretty nasty game. I had a lot of fun in this one. I wasn't trying for a nuclear. I wasn't trying to get you know crazy score streaks. But usually when I run the high ones, I have the intention of getting them. So I kind of change my play style a little bit. Uh, I had to record this from theater mode, and the host left in the middle of the game, so it's split into two pieces. So at about three minutes or so into the game, you might notice a little skip just where I had to splice it together into one video. But besides that, it's a pretty exciting game to play. So uh, what I want to talk about today is uh, not exactly the gameplay because I'll let it speak for itself. It's a pretty good game. And I actually want to talk about the three best first-person shooters, in my personal opinion. And maybe you guys can leave some comments as to why you agree or disagree or what your three favorites are. And, you know, maybe maybe even leave it. You know, what was the one that got you into uh, the more competitive style of first-person shooters? You know, what made you decide to start playing this on a regular basis? So I'll start off with what I consider to be my number three which would be Call of Duty 2. That's the first Xbox 360 first-person shooter that I ever played, and I loved it. It is still to this day one of my favorite games ever as far as 360 is concerned. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I, I still play with people to this day on my friends list who were uh, actually on my friends list before that, and there's the... There's the split that I was talking about. So sorry about that. Uh, I'll get better with you know my editing skills and figure out how to do that better. But for the time being, that's how it has to be. So fuck the host and fuck and fuck theater mode for doing that shit. It's bullshit. Fix it. All right. Fucking fix it. So number three is Call of Duty 2. Call of Duty 2 is one of my favorite games where I met a lot of people that still to this day that I've played. And that game's gone. Seven, eight years old, something like that. And I'd still play it. Uh, I would. I can't find it, and no one ever plays it anymore. But uh, second favorite of all time ever would be Wolfenstein 3D. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think that might have been the very first first-person shooter that I ever played. And that game's always going to be near and dear to my heart for me. It was always so much fun. I used to go over to my friend Sean's house all the time when I was a kid, and we would play that. And, of course, when we were younger, we would always turn on the, the God Mode codes and the All Gun codes so we could just run through and just destroy everything in that game. And it was so much fun. And I wish I still had that on the computer. And I'm actually kind of excited about the new Wolfenstein game that's coming out. The last one that came out kind of bombed. Uh, it wasn't too exciting. But when this one comes out, I'm kind of looking forward to it just to see what it is. What have they done to change things? Are they going to bring anything to the table that's going to make me want to play it over a Call of Duty game? And probably my number one favorite first person shooter of all time would be Duke Nukem 3D. And I'll explain why I love that game so much now. Duke Nukem 3D, back when I was between the ages of 13 and 15, was something I played on a computer all the time. But I grew up in a household with no computer. We couldn't afford a computer, and back then computers were way more expensive than they are now, technically. You know, So I would go to, like, it was a comic book shop, and gaming store uh, where you know they sold like Magic the Gathering cards and D&D stuff and comic books and they also had a bunch of computers set up with you know land together and I'd go in there on Fridays and Saturdays on, on almost every weekend and play Duke Nukem and that was my first real competitive Call of Duty or, or excuse me competitive style uh, first person shooter which of course then led into playing games like Halo I never really played the first Halo a whole lot, but I did play Halo 2 some because I used to have roommates that, you know, Halo 2 parties. Who, who didn't do this if you're over the age of about 21 or so? Who didn't call all your friends and say, let's play some Halo 2? 
and everybody would come over and everybody would bring their own Xbox, everybody would bring their own TV, and you guys would hook that shit up all over the house. I mean, it, it would look ridiculous. So here I am, I'm on my brutal right now, and I'm getting close to my awful death. And it's from me being stupid. I mean, there's a, there's a VSAT up, I shouldn't have died. I might go down before I get killed. But regardless, I should have known where the spawn was. So it'll be coming up here in probably roughly 30 seconds or so. So, all of those games, I've loved them all. I played Halo 3 a whole lot, and then that got me into World of War when that came out. And I still play with a, a lot of the same people. I love it. And here it is. I think that's 28 kills right there. So, fuck my life. But it's still an awesome game for me. I was super pissed. I just waited. I had to watch the kill cam on that one. Uh, so I want to know, what are your three favorite first-person shooters, or what you consider the best first-person shooters, and why? Like, I honestly, I, I, I think that first-person shooters now, the, the kill streaks and stuff that they have, again, like uh, in Call of Duty, I don't think they're necessary anymore. I've kind of gotten over, I'm over it. I, I like the gunfight port more than the throwing fucking hunter killers and dropping hellstorm missiles. I mean, that's fun and all, but I'd rather shoot people. It, it kind of gives you a little bit of nostalgia before they brought that shit in. But, all in all, those are my three favorites. I loved them. I appreciate you guys watching today. This is the end of the game. You guys have a great day. Remember, it's Azazel 2012. Give me some likes and favorites and shares if you enjoy it. If you don't, fuck it. Don't like it. Have a good one.